There have been recent reforms in GCC and A-levels in the UK and this is a matter of concern for lots of students considering applying to Oxford. Now the main thing to remember is our consideration of GCCs is not going to change. We've always looked highly at GCCs and we do take them into careful consideration when looking at students' applications. From our point of view, what we're looking for is a strong performance across the board, um, but particularly sort of getting the high numbers in the new GCC system. So that's nines, eights and sevens across GCCs from a range of subjects that are going to help in your later application. So if you're studying your GCCs at the moment or about to, keep working hard. The key thing is to get, to get as strong grades as possible. Now, if you've already studied your GCCs and you're worried about uh, how you might have performed or how, how the university looks at your grades, the important thing to remember is that we look at the information, we put it against your school's performance, local performance and national performance to give to come out with some contextual data about you. So that means that we don't like to say a candidate from Oxford should have this amount of GCCs or, or to this standard because different people's GCC grades are going to differ massively across the board. When it comes to A-levels, you might be concerned about the reform that means that changes from splitting at AS at the end of the first year and coming out with a set of grades through to the second year and coming out with another set of grades is going to affect your application. Now, the way we used to use ASs essentially gave us a little bit more information about how you're doing on a course. Teachers' predictions in this way were, were very crucial in the way that we look at um, how a candidate is predicted to perform at A-level. But the lack of the AS grades doesn't really change how we as a university admit students. So please don't worry if suddenly your course has, has lost its AS um, aspect. We will look at it in exactly the same way as, as lots of courses where ASs just don't exist. Thank you so much to Dan for agreeing to be interviewed. If you'd like to check out more videos about Oxford and Cambridge admissions, then check out the playlist that's on the screen now and linked in the description below. Also, take a look at the social media links in the description for St Peter's College, which is my old college. There are links to Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram, where you can see a snapshot of student life at an Oxford college.